As you well know, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos doesn't have enough yachts. And the last thing he would want would be for you to go up to the loft, fetch your old Echo Dot, and then find a way to make it not only look better, but also sound better than any of the Amazon Echoes on the market currently. Alexa. Turn photography studio on. Okay. Why don't they just make her look like this in the first place? Thanks to Gravistar for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their new Gravistar Supernova speaker and their cute little Alpha 65 GAN fast charger too. The Gravistar Supernova is a 25 watt immersive light up speaker with Bluetooth 5.3 built in and an auxiliary input for connecting your peripherals using a 3.5 millimeter jack, if that's your poison. It is powered by a standard USB-C charging cable and can play for up to nine hours on its 3,350 milliamp battery. Don't, uh, don't let it run out of battery in the middle of the night. This, this is not a good voice to wake up to. Not enough energy. But no, Daddy, I don't want to go to school! I wish I could tell you that it has Alexa built in, but I do have a workaround for that towards the end of the video. But at some point during the unboxing, I totally stopped caring whether it was actually any good. What? What? <laughs> because it is so damned pretty. It has this kind of Coca-Cola smoky glass dome that surrounds a light that looks like a warp core from Star Trek. And the lights can be set to either a fire animation or a rainbow animation, which is my personal absolute favorite, or you can set solid colors such as red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, or white. And this is so that you can match the aesthetic of your space. Plugging in for the first time, I realized that it's actually got these little lights on its feet too. Which I reacted to as any fully grown adult would. Ah, uh, it's got lights on its lungs! The lights aren't super bright, and I think they're probably more decorative than anything, but my mate Stu from Stu's Reviews did pitch a tent and was able to use the attachable carry handle to utilize it as an ambience light for camping. Dude, you just said pitching a tent, dude. Dude! You just said pitching a tent! It means erection! Dude. I'm not exaggerating when I say that this is the coolest looking speaker in the history of cool looking speakers. And I think it's worth noting that they also come in black and can be stereo paired using TWS to give you full stereo sound via two of them. You could also use a splitter cable to connect two of them on your desk to give you stereo sound from your PC and also the coolest looking desk I can possibly imagine. The question is, do they sound any good? Let's find that out. That's what this video is. <laughs> Before we start, right off the bat, this is a great portable speaker. It is one of the nicest sounding speakers I've seen in this range, and I might, just might, be ready to crown a new winner for this category. Speaking of crowning, was it just me, or did they play Star Wars music when they finished crowning King Charles the other week? This is my mate Derek. Derek is a binaural microphone. He has a microphone in each ear to help simulate what speakers might actually sound like in real world use. If you put some headphones on now, you should get some idea of the differences in sonic character between the Gravistar speakers and my full-sized Amazon Echo. Stop getting off on this. It's not ASMR, you pervert. So first impression. 
impressions are it's a little bit mid-heavy, maybe. There isn't as much bass as I might like, but there is an awful lot of clarity, and I think it's probably, for its size, quite a good balance. But now I'm going to press play again, and we're going to switch over to the echo speaker. <laughs> What you can hear there is a lot less clarity around things like cymbals and hi-hats. They're kind of muffled, like somebody has sat on them. Um, you can hear a lot more bass, which is exactly what I was talking about. The Gravistar speaker seems to be missing. Um, I'm just going to play a little bit more music for you, and I'm going to switch between the two and kind of let you make your own mind up. That's the whole point of this microphone, so have a listen. Spotify has built-in EQ settings, and if I adjust these, I can actually get these speakers to sound really, really good. Nice. Very, very nice. And this got me thinking. Why don't I just plug an Amazon Echo Dot into this thing's auxiliary input, and then I can actually adjust the EQ on the Amazon Echo Dot. So I managed to get all the cables tucked away quite nicely into the frame for the glass, and the number of cables kind of actually works with the robot's dystopian aesthetic. The old Echo Dot doesn't look too out of place cradled by the robot, and I reckon it would look even better if I had a white Echo Dot or a black robot. So I go to change the EQ for the Amazon Echo Dot in the Amazon Alexa app, only to find it doesn't make a scrap of difference to anything. Why? Corporate greed because Jeff Bezos is a greedy bastard. I'm pretty sure this is to incentivize you into upgrading to the full-blown Amazon Echo rather than using your own speakers, but all is not lost. Alexa, so resume. You know why that sounds all right? Whenever I connect an Amazon Echo via its audio jack to one of these speakers, you'll find that the sound quality is actually dramatically cleaner, and I'm not even really noticing the missing bass. You don't have to pop the Amazon Echo on the top of this robot like some kind of weird hat. You could, in fact, have the Amazon Echo hidden away somewhere. As long as she can still hear you and the cable will still reach the robot, this is still a really good solution. Because a full-sized Amazon Echo costs around £100. This might be a better way to upgrade both the sound and the look of your existing Echo Dot without potting out for what is basically a reasonable sounding bowling ball. The Gravistar Supernova is around $180 US, and they do ship to the UK for about £170 all in, including delivery. But if you use the link in my description, you can get a discount of 15% using code PLHB, making the overall price more like 143 quid. Gravistar make a whole range of very cool futuristic looking speakers, but they also do a whole bunch of accessories too, such as the GAN charger that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. The GAN charger can charge up to three devices at once, up to 65 watts total. Yeah, it's simply the US version. So, what is it? Oh. <sighs> Thanks. If you're interested in buying any of these devices, then as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick them up using my discount. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube's algorithms know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. 
These incredible people running up your screen are my patrons from Patreon. Without them, there would be no video. I would be doing something else for a living and it would suck for me and for you. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we'll give you best friends. See you next time. Red, orange, green, pig, he, uh, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> erections. <laughs> you can actually get the speaker to sound unbelievably good. Check this out. Check, check this out. I'll put a T on the end of that sentence, shall I? T.